Welcome everybody, welcome to part two of Freight Route Saturday. Uh, we're going to get started here on the Great Western Expressway, Class 66. And then we're going to pop over to Rhinewer Olsten and get that done. And then we'll be done for the day. Alright. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Take that. Uh, let's see, is there two? Uh, this is the closest we got. Okay. 20 FKA container wagons from Reading to Acton Main Line. That's what we'll start with. Okay, so here we are. Make sure we're all caught up here. Okay, here we are. All right, so we're going to get everything all set up here. Make sure all of our switches are on. Okay, looks like everything's on already. Brakes charged up. Yep. Instrument lights on. All right, we are all set to go. You know what, we won't worry about the AWS. Yeah, I'll just go. Hey Josh, how are you? I oh, only got two viewers in. Thank you all for joining. We've got these uh, kind of like an intermodal service like we did earlier today on the uh, sand patch grade. That they're not stacked too high.
Nice, Josh. That's pretty cool. Of course, all it did was slide. <laughs> Probably too much for the bricks to handle. <laughs> So we got a nice 30 uh, mile journey here to Acton Yard. We'll, uh, let's see, our speed limit is 75. We'll... Oh crap. Uh... Oops-a-daisy. Anyway, so yeah, we're, we're slowly making our way up to 75. We'll get there. I don't think we need the cab lights on for anything. Yeah, I sure did, Josh. My, I had a little thing of cookies, and they slipped off the armrest here next to me. So I managed to salvage just about them all, the last few that were left, except for one. So <laughs> maybe Mr. Squirrel's going to get lucky and get a cookie here outside in a moment. That's okay. It happens. Right, so Acton Yard. We're going to be stopping short of where we would normally stop at on Great Western Expressway. We're going to end up right here. So when we get closer, we're going to have to cross. Will we have to cross over some tracks? Nope, maybe not. I think we're already on the right side. Perfect. And fortunately enough, my um, earlier route's getting ready to rear in about 30 minutes. It's going to be a double premiere today. <laughs> as soon as we get done loading up this, we'll uh, we'll get it to premiere sometime tonight or maybe early tomorrow morning. Yeah, maybe t early tomorrow morning. The heck with it. Ooh, an HST and a 166 going by. 
Nice. All right, we're almost at the point of our max speed here on the train. So I am going to take it down to about notch five. That should be sufficient enough to keep us going around about 73 miles an hour. We should be going on at a fairly good clip here and just chew up those miles and we'll be all set. My uh, freight driver is not as sharply dressed as the uh, Class 47 driver was yesterday. <laughs> that's okay he's going to the pub at Acton Yard after he gets there <laughs> have a pint watch a match or two yeah there we go get the window open Now, of course, we don't ever get a second operator here on the service, no, which is kind of odd, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> Little horn action there. Interesting. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Oh, 22 miles to Acton. Now, the question will be, I know there was a train in front of us. Oh, there's one there. Stopping at the station. That's there. All right, so we should start to expect to see some yellow lights here pretty soon, I would imagine. I'm going to go ahead and get off the throttle. We're going to let it coast a bit. Uh, probably just drop off some speed a little bit naturally. Even though we're going downhill, for some reason or another, this this seems to act like it's uh, we're going uphill instead, even though we're... I don't know. It's just the way it works sometimes. But, I think we're going to start seeing... If that train is stopped, right? There. Yeah, pretty soon I would have expected we should start getting some yellows. So hopefully everybody's having a good Saturday afternoon, evening, whatever the case may be. It's kind of warmed up here just a bit today.
Uh, I'm thinking sand patch grid again. Auto rack snow. <laughs> it it's a challenge, Josh. That's for sure. Uh, all that weight, especially going. If you're going to Cumberland, that's a lot of weight, and with the icy tracks, yeah, that's that's a bit of a challenge. Ooh, uh oh, oh, it's down to ninety. Oh, I'm I'm good then. Yeah, that, that does, that's quite a challenge there. But I mean, if Richard can do it, you can do it, Josh. He did it quite okay. Just curious, just to see. Somebody's messing around posting bad links on my my chat already. Hmm. All right. Well, we're we're fine. Okay. Okay. So we should be almost catching up to that train, I think. It's still at that station. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah, I think I've done this before, and it we end up sitting there for seemingly forever. That train should have been long gone. Okay, it's there. Not there. It's at the, okay, it's at the next one already. I think. And there'll be another one, another station ahead, so. Yeah. We'll start getting the yellow here in a moment, I think. leave that next station already yeah all right so yeah let's see let's get some break on here just to be on the safe side
It's not a really long train, that's for sure. So this is their safety device at the back of the train here compared to the one in America, which seems to be a bit more... Uh, uh, it's a little bit smaller, but uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, that goes a 166. Well, okay, not there. Not there. Oh, wait, maybe it was. Yep. All right, so there it is up ahead now. Probably after this, we'll. Well, I'm surprised. Maybe after this green, we'll see a yellow. All right. Well, maybe we're just by kind of slowing down a bit, we're, we're letting them get ahead just a smidge. We'll get, we'll get on the power here and kind of get caught back up. Sixty six does have a pretty nice uh, engine sound, I think. I don't know if it's a recording of another engine or if it's pretty much spot on. So it's going to stop there. It's going to have, there's a couple different stops it's going to make along the way, it looks like. So when we're done here, we're going to go over to Rheinwehr Usten and we're going to take a trip on the 155. Uh, we'll do that and then that will wrap up our videos for today. Hopefully everybody's having a good day, good afternoon, good evening, whichever the case may be.
Hmm. All right, there's the yellow I've been waiting on. Okay, yeah, now we're just slowing down here. We'll just kind of coast in here Once the brakes release we'll we might have to get get a little bit of power back up I just want to I don't want to lose too much momentum I want to go about 20 Yeah, maybe about 20 miles an hour just keep I just want to keep moving forward but not so quickly that we can't slow down in time for a red Ooh, excuse me all right so that's clear so they're on to the next station there which is right there it'd be nice if we could get rooted around this train but it doesn't work that way Yeah, we're we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Just about where to go? Did it go past that station? It must have. All right, so it didn't stop. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now just about 10 miles to go here to, to our stopping point. Has been a fairly trouble-free run. Well, not even fairly. It, it has been a trouble-free run. Well, hopefully we're going to keep it that way. Alright, so that's there. The next stop after that is going to be right here yeah we still got a few hiccups in the in the way possibly all right I'm just gonna get off the throttle here for a little bit I do like the sound of that engine when it kind of once I go on to full power and it, it's got a nice uh, yeah you know what I mean mm, excuse me I might have to take me a little nap after this
All right, so that one's moving on here. So the next stop it should be at is right there. And then after that, it should be right here. Right there. Yeah, there's, there's a few stops still in the way. But we're just, as long as we keep moving, we'll be okay. Uh, almost looks like it skipped a it skipped a station. Nope, there it is, right there. Nope, he's not gonna skip that one. Weird way to end that street back there. <laughs> Just at a gate that goes into a gully, it looks like, or something. <laughs> what is over there? Oh, it's a river. <laughs> I just turn on it in. You know, bam, right through the through the gate into the little river or whatever that is there, canal or something. Mm, 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 mm. Well, there's a wash area here. I think. Yep. Something like that. No, it's an egg to get dropped. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I mean, I've probably seen it before, but I just didn't even realize it. Hmm. I thought it was a wash area, but it doesn't look that way. Oh, it's something if you got like loaded wagons or whatever you go through and drop all the stuff off. Huh. Boy, I am a little bit tired. You might have me a little bit of a nap after Ryan Rohr Austin. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Where's that other train at? Okay, it's leaving that other station. There's a, there was another... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I might throw on some Amazon Prime and have me a little bit of a nap.
Okay, so let's do it. So this should be the next stop here for that train. That one might just he might just zip right through this stop here. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. Hmm, interesting. Nope, he didn't even stop. So the next possible stop is right here. But it doesn't even seem like he's stopping for this one either. It's not really slowed down. Hmm. All right, next one would be here then. Well, it'd be great if we didn't have uh, if we didn't have to worry about the. Okay, so I didn't stop there, so the next one would be here, right? Okay. Alright, this one he might be slowing down for. We'll just get a little bit of speed back up here so we can... ...maintain our momentum. All right, so he is stopping there. All right, let's go ahead and get off the brake or throttle here. I think we just maintain kind of around about the speed. So we're there and he is up here. Right there. So once we get past that stop, we should have no problems just going right on into our stopping area because that train will go right, right to there, it looks like. So anyway. Goes a 166. Just zipping on by. Wow, he's he's on a mission. <laughs> All right, so that train still hasn't left. Interesting. All right, now it is. Okay. All right, just about uh, four miles to go to our stopping point in Acton Yard. Then we're going to muscle our way through the Rhine Ruhr Ostin on the 155. And then I think I am going to prop my feet up in my recliner and take a nap. Okay. 
you know, put on a movie that I don't really need to pay attention to and just doze off. <laughs> I do like this bridge right here. These two steel bridges. Well, there's just something about the design of them. They were simple and sturdy and you know, built to last. I don't make stuff like that anymore, it seems like. Let's see, so it's uh, a little about a little after seven, isn't it, Josh, where you're at? Yep, okay. Did you have your dinner yet? There goes the HST. Nope. What's for dinner tonight? Anything good? Getting it soon. Oh, okay. What you having? Getting it from the oh Chipotle, or if, oh from the chippy. Oh, fish and chips then? No. A sandwich. Ah. Fish and chips. Oh, nice. You're going to the shop then to get it. Is what you're saying. Yeah, I'd mind some fish and chips. Let's see, here in America, we do it with the malt vinegar and the tartar sauce. That's how I eat it. That's just me. Let's see, there's a train line up here, too. I think. Or maybe is it the next one? Hmm. I 
There it is. There's the train bridge. Alrighty, we're almost there. Chippy is just what we Brits call a fish and chip shop, just chippy for short. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Well, I think when I have a moment, I'm going to definitely go to a... We don't have, a, like, a dedicated fish and chip shop. But there's a couple restaurants in the area that serve them. So I might just have to go get me some of that. Uh, no, I'm just doing this, and then I'm going to go over to Rhinewer Austin, uh, Josh, and then that's it for tonight, for this weekend. I'm not going to do a stream tomorrow. All right. Got a gold right there. There we go. Uh, just about 48 minutes. Get everything going. So, all right, let's head over to Rainwood Austin. And we'll get in the 155 and Get the CIFA on and the PZB on. I'm going to have to remember where everything is. It's been a while since I've been in the 155. <laughs> I think I remember where it is, but we'll find out here in a moment. I think it's down the hallway, if I remember correctly. Alrighty, here we go. There it is. Alright, we're going to do... Hagen to Wuppertal. 6.45. That's pretty dark already. Huh. Intermodal wagons. Okay, yeah, here we go. We'll just do this 157 service since it's a little bit lighter out. Shouldn't take very long to do. Find out. 
get in here and get everything all set up. I see Joe's on his last race. Yeah. All right. He's about wrapping it up there, it looks like. Okay, let's get that set there. There is Siva and EZB is right there. Oops. Okay. All right, let's get the brake key on. Got to release. We'll set all that to that. And that to that. We will put on contrast so we have that put the gauge lights on left headlight center headlight right Oop. center headlight the headlights to bright We have a green light. All right, we are on our way. Okay, that's interesting. All right, now we're moving. Let's get the window open too. All right, where is my PZB and all that? I know it's here somewhere. All right, so we got that released. We should be okay. So now we are under thousand hertz magnet of course <laughs> well we got another viewer came in wonder who that might be all right so we're coming from here we're going there but I don't I think we are going, we're going to be taking, looks like this line, we're not going to go off to the uh, offshoot there, off to the side. Alright, let's see if we can get this released. No. Nope. Alrighty. Well, we're just, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Did I miss a speed board or something? Huh. Okay.
Uh, let's reset the bricks. So maybe that's what I need to do. Get moving again. Yeah. I must have missed something, Josh. stuck here now. All right, now we're moving. Hmm. Well, at least it's not dark out or whatever. <laughs> So now, let's see if we can get this thing. All right, now we should be able to speed up. Alright, so we'll see that board for the 100 kilometers an hour coming up here soon. We'll acknowledge that. We're just going to go ahead and back off the throttle just a bit. So there's no boards here for that. That's interesting. The board for a 150. So that one's there.
So we are going up this uh, nearly 2% grade here. We're just making our way up. Well, it's kind of flattened out now. Very practical sunscreens. I like that. The driver can still see through the darkened glass there. They're not looking, you know, looking at like a, you know, an actual blind. They can actually see, you know. That's good. So that's where we are. We're almost getting to the halfway point of our journey. So, so that's the other interesting thing too that I noticed. So on Germany, on the freight routes, you don't have a light. You just have these reflectors on the back end here. And that's about it. You don't have any kind of a flashing light or anything. Kind of odd. That's okay. I just like to check to see the different safety systems at the back ends of the trains just to see what they have. All right, so in 3.8 kilometers, we have a 120. And so we should get a warning board for that reduction in speed because that's what it will be essentially. I might try to have a sleep in tomorrow. Oh. I tried this morning, but it didn't work. Hmm. Let's see, we're, I think once we come around this corner here, somewhere along here we'll be about halfway there. Just popped into the New York cam in Times Square, the chat is just politics, politics, and more politics, yeah. Some people just can't let it go, Josh, unfortunately. Instead of just going there and enjoying the view of New York uh, Times Square. <laughs> okay. 
I try to steer clear. Well, not even try. I just steer clear of all that. It's just there's nothing. Nothing good comes out of it, you know. People just get all start fussing with each other. And all right, let's get on. Let's get off the throttle here because we're going downhill just a slight bit. Yeah, unfortunately, people people can't uh, let that sort of stuff go. I don't. All right, so 120s here. I don't remember, there, I don't think there was a reduction board, but here's the new speed board right here. I don't know if we had missed it, unless I just inadvertently had. Uh, uh, let's just get on the brakes just a bit because I think we're going to start picking up a little bit of speed here and we don't want too much of it. Yeah, I just avoid all that because it's it becomes so toxic and, and all that. I just... Ugh. All right, we're... Right around about halfway, I think. Plus, I, it just doesn't seem like the uh, the mods are doing. If they have mods on that chat, they're not really doing their job. that stuff should be getting deleted and people getting timed out to be honest because we we now live in an age unfortunately where people can't respect different viewpoints when it comes to politics so yeah I just uh, yeah that is one of the saddest parts about social media I think River's like, no stream tonight? <laughs> uh, well, you already missed it for today. I think he was asking, wondering if Richard was going to stream again tonight. Not me, but I think he was, uh, River was asking, and I think he was asking if Richard was going to do another stream tonight. Oh. Okay, so let's take a look here. Now, if I seem to recall, this area caught us out once before. I don't remember if it was a passenger service or if it was freight service. So I think we come up under a thousand hertz magnet at some point around the corner here. I'm just going to go ahead and get on the brakes just a tad.
see there's the DOS toss but you can't drive that you have to drive the other locomotive hmm Now, see, it's kind of weird that there's this these speed boards here, or it's saying, you know, reduce the speed, but they don't give you, like, a speed board, you know, or anything to suggest that the speed is changing. It's just in the, you know, like this little digital marker thing. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. Maybe I'm thinking of a different service because I know. Huh. Oh well. Maybe I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just uh, we're about 12 kilometers away from the uh, stopping point. Matter of fact, let's just take a look. All right, so we're stopping there. So we'll see if we get uh, maybe maybe I slowed down in time and we didn't come up under the thousand hertz magnet like like before. Wonder if that's what it was. Just dropped out one viewer. Got one viewer left. We had two. Not sure if that meant Josh left or what. I'm here still. Okay, Josh, and whoever else was in here took off, so I don't know. I guess it's a new viewer, maybe, or I don't know. Oh, well. I guess we'll never find out. <laughs> well, thanks for sticking around, Josh. Oh, somebody came back in.
I gotta go now to eat, so I guess I'll see you around. All right, Josh, take care. Have a good night, man. I'll catch you around tomorrow sometime. Enjoy your fish and chips. All right, nine kilometers to go to Wuppertal Steinbeck Yard. Once we park this, uh, hasn't been too long of a train, really. Right there. Uh, we'll, uh, it's an intermodal service. So we'll, uh, we'll end it there. So we're back down to our one viewer. Not sure who that is. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around. We're coming up here to the end of our second route for this afternoon. We started off on the Great Western Expressway, in case you're just now joining. We did the Class 66 service. Uh, pretty much straightforward service from... Reading to Acton Yard using it's it was a similar service as this uh, just uh, something like this had some different logos on it though yeah it seems like most everything we were running today was freight of some kind or not well not freight of some kind that it was interval doll everywhere we were going so that's cool kind of connected everything today all right we are just flying down the hill here break there a little bit well those brakes are pretty darn good so there's the station four 
that uh, hanging train. I, get, I don't know what else to call it, but yeah, there's that. So that's a station there. It looks like, or that's a station that looks like a like a workshop area or something, a maintenance uh, building. All right, we're we're making our way. I guess we could kind of speed up a little bit, but my fear is as soon as we start get building up some speed, we're gonna get uh, popped for uh, a thousand hertz magnet. <laughs> There's that train, tram, little monorail, whatever you want to call it. It'll be about an hour and a half, give or take. All right, let's get, uh, let's see, we're under five miles. I know we're, once we get closer to that, uh, there's a station coming up here and there. I think for there for sure we're, we're, we're going to have to slow down a bit. We'll try to keep this going as quickly as we can. Thanks to my one viewer for sticking around. So there was warning boards there for the 100 coming up. start slowing down here just a bit because we're going to I think we're going to start crossing over these tracks here shortly what in the world I... wow that's the second one today and even it was like bam all of a sudden I thought I Acknowledged everything. Hmm. 
I was well below the 60. I wonder if it's... Did I need to be well below that even? Hmm. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the... Oh, for come on. It's like I've hit an invisible wall or something. All right. Well, we're finally on our way again. All right, almost there. I think that's why I should have been closer to the 40 coming up. So we're good here at 32 kilometers an hour. So for whatever reason, it didn't think I was slowing down in enough time to get to 40 or below. That's okay. <laughs> so we should, yeah, there's a We'll acknowledge this signal because there's a speed and then there's also the yellow there. Yeah, 
yeah, because we gotta we gotta cross over the tracks here to get to our parking spot. Got to make a mental note of that. That once we get closer, we need to be at below forty kilometers an hour going in. That way, we shouldn't hit any PZB issues. Another board here. Okay, well, we are coming into the end here. Interesting that this, there's a yellow here essentially, but we don't see the yellow where we would expect it on the track. We're back under another thousand hertz magnet. We should come up under a 500 hertz magnet here shortly. So we're slowing down to make sure we don't trigger that or get in a fuss with that. Itching. Oof. So, we will be coming to the end of our journey here shortly. I guess we didn't come up under a 500 hertz magnet. I would have expected that. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Now we do. Let's get a little bit of the brakes or br brakes on <laughs> brakes, the brakes on. Oops, that might be a little bit too much. like a glove just like before there we go okay and a nice 
gold medal for us. All right, so that'll be it for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining, and I will see you in a couple weeks on Train Sim World 2. We'll pick up our passenger services again in a couple of Fridays, and I will see you then. All right, take care. Have a great rest of your weekend.